Hi there, welcome to Form Builder Video Guides. In this tutorial we're going to show you how you can customise the different screens inside Form Builder. If we click on Form Screens, this opens a new menu. From here we can see we can also customise the look of when a form has been submitted, the email that's sent to a user to verify their email address, and the confirmation message after they've joined our mailer. Now if we click on Form Submitted, this is what the user will see after they have completed your mailing list join form. We can hover over this section and click the pencil button to edit. Inside the text editor you can make any desired changes. Once you've finished, just hit the close button. The next screen we can also customise is the verification email page. After a user has completed the form, they're sent an email to the email address given in order to verify their address. This is the message that will be sent to the user in order to verify their email address. Again, you can completely customise this. If you mouse over this section, we can click the pencil button to edit. So, let's try changing this email address. And if we highlight it, we can quickly turn it into a Maltu link. When we finish, just click the close button. And finally, the third screen we can customise is the sign up complete. So after the user has clicked on this yes subscribe me button inside their email, they're presented with a little message to confirm that they've successfully joined your mailing list. Like the other screens, we can mouse over and click the pencil button to edit. Inside the text editor, we can make any amends. And again, once you've finished, just click the close button. Once you finish making your amends, to get back to your main form, just click sign up form. And here we go, we can see return to the form home. And if you want to close this window, just click the X button at the top. We've learned how to customise the different screens inside our email newsletter widget sign up form. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful, and be sure to check out the other videos in the series.